Good morning, everyone. My name is Austin Imor, and I'm saying you can do much more. Let me talk to you on uh, something that I have researched upon that I think is very, very valid, which is if you want to be an entrepreneur, don't be smart. Yes, you heard me right. Don't be smart. Smart people don't make good entrepreneurs. You will ask me, what are you talking about? Well, I will ask you, have you ever seen a professor who is an entrepreneur? Well, I think there are a few of them out there, but they are not much. Most professors are broke anyway. So I'm saying, if you want to be an entrepreneur, a good one, don't be smart. If you are smart, uh, the best you can be is a con man. But if you are smart and you want to be an entrepreneur, I need to point out a few things to you that you need to do. So entrepreneurs are not necessarily smart people. There are people that know how to work with people. That is what they are. That is very simple. Now, they are, it, it, if you are smart, you need to be an entrepreneur. You must listen to me because the, these three things are the things that you must do. Number one, you must see problems as opportunities. You know, smart people don't see problems as opportunities. They see problems and, and they will tell you, let's be candid about it. This is a problem I will need to solve it. That is how smart people talk. But entrepreneurs don't see problems as problems. They see them as opportunities. They see them as the next stepping stone to their uh, height in life. That is how entrepreneurs see problems. As a matter of fact, great entrepreneurs see problems and they rejoice. They see problems and they are happy. They see problems and they call it, wow, what a huge opportunity. Now, it was W. Clement Stone who said, that if you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is to stop digging. First time I heard that, I asked myself, why, why is he saying that? And is he saying I put myself in the hole? That is how entrepreneurs think. But like I said, a smart man would say, if I found myself in a hole, the best way to get out of the hole is to keep digging. But entrepreneurs say, the best way to get out of the hole is to stop digging. Because you need to find out how you got there in the first place. Like I said, if you must be a great entrepreneur, one thing you must consider first is that problems are not problems. They are opportunities. Each time you see problem, it is time to rejoice. It is time to be happy because that problem is going to announce you. For example, you started a business. You, you call yourself an entrepreneur, but you said, I cannot sell, but I want to start a business. And you started a business. And all of a sudden, you realize that your biggest asset in business is to sell. And you saw your inability to sell as a huge problem. Mm -mm. If you are a great entrepreneur, if you will be one, if you think you are an entrepreneur, that is not a problem at all. That is an opportunity because you are going to learn how to sell or get smart people to sell for you because that is a huge opportunity for you to actually sell. Now, I, I believe you must have heard this story of two men that were sent to a certain country to actually look at the country and find out if they can sell shoes to that country because they were sent from a shoe company. When they arrived, they saw differently. One person said they don't wear shoes in this country, so don't bother to bring in a bag of shoes or a container of shoes. The other one saw a huge opportunity. What makes the difference? One saw problem, the other one saw opportunity. So don't be smart, just see things as they are. Like you are an entrepreneur, everything is an opportunity. Problem, an opportunity for you to sow a higher. I am Austin Murray, and I'm saying you can do much more.